Trade Union Federation SAFTU held a march in Cape Town earlier before the medium-term budget policy statement was delivered in Parliament by the Minister Inok Kodongwane. The Federation said it was against planned budget cuts. Pro-Palestine marches also clashed with police. They wanted to deliver their memorandum, but they did not have a permit to march. Nubisu Tuhechana monitored the events outside Parliament earlier. She just joins us now to tell us what happened later. Nubisu good afternoon. You saw those two marches taking place. And, of course, there was the issue of that memorandum of demands that had to be, uh, to be handed over. And the groups were trying as well very hard to get their voices heard. Tell us what happened. So the march was under the, um, or rather it was me meant to be uh, about the budget that was delivered by the Minister of Finance, Inok Kodongwana, as we heard from SAF2 as well as the SACP talking about the fact that uh, budget cuts in the past have been detrimental, especially for sectors like health, education, as well as police, and wanting government to address issues, especially when it comes to um, the high rising cost of leaving. But uh, as soon as those demonstrations were supposed to end, we saw a group of the Palestine supporters attempting to make their way to the city hall where um, the minister was delivering or was meant to be, or was delivering his speech rather and then police um, reminded them that uh, their permit was not granted for them to go to parliament but rather to hold their demonstrations um, in district six but the group however um, tried and that's when they clashed with police officers on the road and uh, we saw reverend alan busak coming in and trying to calm the situation and praying for peace while the people um, were seated on the road and uh, obviously police officers were also standing up saying that they were not going to allow them and there were two representatives from parliament that were meant to be accepting a memorandum but they left as the marchers then said they were not going to hand it over on the streets they wanted to go to parliament but then at some point police allow them to walk but a memorandum was not delivered as those representatives were locked uh, in parliament due to the speech that was underway by the minister of finance. So the regional, the organizers had originally requested permission to march to City Hall. The purpose today is because we know there's a joint sitting because the uh, uh, Minister of Finance is doing, delivering his medium term budget framework. So essentially we wanted to, one of the core demands is that all those organizers and the supporters, they want to pressurize our government to expel the Israeli ambassador. Now what happened is that the, the city is controlled by the DA, supporting by the DA, and this DA openly has been very openly and vocal about their support for the, for the uh, Zionist state of Israel. The request to march has been rejected on the basis of security reasons. We don't know what the security reasons are. As you can see in this crowd, it's predominantly young people because they feel our right to protest is being curtailed. They are very peaceful. All they want to do is they want to get close to a uh, city hall because that is now the symbol of, symbol of, of, of our national parliament and where the National Assembly is currently sitting.